Last year saw the Seminoles turn in some great performances hosting the ACC Outdoor Track and Field Championships. As the Seminoles racked up wins, Thrower Kelly and Nib could only watch and wait. To watch um, your, your people you've competed among against for um, the past couple of years come to your home and do things that you wanted to do. So I guess this year only makes it a little more exciting. Nib spent the 2015 season on the shelf with wrist and hip injuries and has worked her way back into shape slowly ever since. A tough situation for someone as competitive as Nib. I mean, it was pretty tough for her because she is such a competitor and she had the angry face on for about five months there, as you know. But you know, she's back out here, she's doing her thing. It was because um, I had my trainer trying to monitor me to make sure I don't overdo it too soon, but it was also good to allow me to get to know my body all over again because after an injury, we have to readjust and learn um, what we can do and what we can do when we can do it. So it was tough at first, but after I got in my groove, it was it was pretty okay. Now the All-American discus thrower is close to full strength and ready to prove she's the best in the conference and in the country. I like to think that I'm in championship mode or I'm about to be, so I expect to throw something really big either this weekend or in the next couple of weeks because it's championship like ACC's, regionals, nationals, so I hope to deliver something within the month. And now Nib has her opportunity in front of the home fans to show that even after a year off, she is the best. LaneHurtSeminoles.com